37. <coughs> so it's a long preparation. By the time you are admitted into the ranks of the witnesses. <laughs> Before you, before you get there, you have to be ready so that you cannot fall back. So that's Mr. Daniels. Before you join their rank, you are fully prepared. Don't be like, please. Then if, if you fell out, it's very bad. So, inna fi dhalika la dhikra liman kana lahu qalbun أو ألقى السمع وهو شهيد أو ألقى السمع وهو شهيد أرم Here truly is in this a reminder for whoever has a heart whoever listens attentively أجاب Here truly is a reminder in this for whoever has a heart Whoever listens attentively. Verily, in that is truly a remembrance for anyone who has a heart, and he keenly hearkens while he is a witness. So, thinking about three things here. Alp, somebody who has the heart. So, remembrance to begin with. It can only be of of, um, of benefit to one who has a heart. Because if you don't have a heart, you cannot remember as this, even though it's there, as we said earlier, you will not be able to respond to it. Man kana lahu qalbun. The one, qalbun ya'qil biha. The heart by which you. We meaning by the heart is the heart that you can understand. That's what it means. Otherwise, everybody has, in terms of shape and form, everybody has a heart. But if that heart is not working, it's as though you don't have. <laughs> okay? Because just having it doesn't mean anything. Unless it is a functioning heart. Then, it's, it's, it's a meaningful heart. That's why he said, for anyone who has a heart, as though there are those who don't have a heart. Yes, in the sense that there are those who don't use their heart. They don't understand the message of God. Or someone who is a keen listener. A keen listener. Somebody who listens keenly. That also can understand the message. The remembrance. When he listens keenly. What was Shahid while he is present? <laughs> so those two together. Where somebody can be physically present, he is not listening. His presence is useless. Don't just come with your body, come with your heart and your ears. Come with your heart, which is present. So your heart has to be here. If you come here, your heart is somewhere else. You are not present. Because the, the, the witnesses we are talking about, there are people who are sitting here physically, but then God's present because their heart is there. And their hearing also is there. So whatever is said and done, they get it first hand. Only physically there. So the physical presence is not important. If your heart and your hearing are present, no use. Because you will not you will not grasp. So you have to come in heart. Come as a keen listener. 
only then you are considered present and only then you are considered a true witness. So in the Vidalika Liman Kana Lahu Kalbun Aw Al Kasama or Shahid. We will look at the story of the jinns. A good lesson for us human beings. The, we had a hadith that where Prophet praised the jinns a lot for being very responsive. Mm. For not being, not being passive listeners, but responding listeners. They listen and they respond to what they hear. So when Surah Al-Rahman, when he first recited that Surah, and nobody responded. So when he finished, he told them that, you know, the jinns are, are, were, have had a better example than you. Because when I recited this, this chapter to them, they responded after every they respond by saying La Kalla So they respond by saying something. When I said, which of your Lord's favors are you going to deny? And they respond, none of our Lord's favors will be denied. So responding, how to interact with the teaching. I respond. So the story of the, the delegation, so these are the witnesses among them, because not everyone can be a witness, naturally. So but God selects witnesses, those who will be present, and they can report back to the rest. Okay. They are the witnesses, that's the idea. They are, they are the, the deputation, the deputies of the society, the group will send into God's presence and they will listen and they'll come back with the news. So let's see what, what happened in Surah 2. Al, with Ahqaf. In verse 29, 29 to 32. When we saw from the jinn, they listened to the Quran. When they heard it, they said, "Answer." When they saw it, they said, "Answer." When they saw قالوا يا قومنا أجيب إنا إنا سمعنا كتابا أنزل من بعد موسى مصدقا لما بين يديه يهدي إلى الحق وإلى سرات مستقيم يا قومنا أجيب دعي الله وأمن به يغفر لكم من ذنوبكم ويجركم من عذاب أليم أم الله يجيب دعي الله وليس معجز في الأرض وليس له من دونه من أولياء أولئك في ضلال مبين. ألم؟ and straight path. Our people, respond to the one who calls to your God. Believe in him. He will forgive you your sins and protect you from a painful punishment. Those who fail to respond to God's call cannot escape God's power anywhere on earth, nor will they have any protector against him. Such people have clearly gone far astray. Remember how we sent to you a band of jinn who wished to hear the Quran, and as they listened to its recitation, they said to one another, Be silent and listen. And then when it was finished, they went back to their people to give them warning. They said, Our people, oh, our people, we have heard a book which 
has been sent down after Moses, fulfilling the predictions existing in period scriptures. It guides to the truth and to the right path. Our people respond to the one who calls you to God. Believe in him. God will forgive you your sins and protect you from a painful punishment. Any who does not respond to God's call will never elude him on earth, nor can he have any protector against him. Such people have clearly gone and gone far astray. description of presence and witnessing. Mm. So nafara. So just listen to that word nafara. Mm. Nafara. We'll see here this word also came in Surah the Tawbah where God says that the believers, that the community of believers must choose a group among them. And this group among them, what they want, will be the witnesses for the community. And that means they will send them to gain a deeper understanding of the words of God. I mean, they will go and be present. So the same thing happened. The jinns, they sent a delegation to the prophet, peace be upon him, to listen to the Quran. Okay. So they went and learned from him directly. So they, they therefore have become the, the witnesses for their people. So after they learned, so we see that also they didn't just come physically, but they they, are, they were truly present. Because when they came, فَلَمَّا حَضَرُوا قَالُوا When they came, when they were present, when they came to where the Quran was recited, they said, to one another, listen, be silent. Hmm? So silence is a key factor. Because you don't want to miss any single detail of the teaching not a single detail. Okay, so that is very important. Kalu and Situ. One. Secondly, Falamma Kudya. When the teaching was done. Okay, they did not leave in the middle. They had the patience to listen till the end. Falamma Kudya. Walla. When it was done completely, then they went back to their people as mourners. And their warning to their people was that we have, our people, we have had a book which has been revealed after the book of Moses' Torah. So they are aware about the former books and they also believe in the former books. That's important too. Those who believe in what's revealed to you and what was revealed before you as all from God. 
So Musaddiqal Lima Bayna Yaday And this book guides to the truth and to the way Then they, the, the witnesses are the warners also They are the ones who have given the task of warning To warn You can be a warner unless you are, you are a witness You don't have that function And that capability Not a witness so they said, Ya Khawmana Ajibu Da'i Allah O our people respond to the call of God God sent to call people And believe in Him To the rest of the end of the ayah So witness And warner Witness and warner Those who have learned Right from the source those who have been present and and have received the message first half. The teaching, not second half. They are the witnesses, and those who are the witnesses are the ones who are the warners as well. We'll finish now with this last ayah in Surah Tawbah. Verse 122 of Tawbah, O Ma Khan al Mu'minun, Liyan Firu Kafa, Falaula Nafara Min Kuli Fir Khatiminun Taifa, Liyada Fakka Hufidin, O Liyandru Khamahum Ida Raja Ulayhim, La Allah Hum Yahrahum. So this verse and that verse in Akaf are twin verses. verses Ayatun of Tuha Every ayah has a sister The word ayah is feminine in, in Arabic So it's a sister ayah Twin ayah Adam? Yet it is not right for all believers to go out together Or for each community a group should Go out to study the religion so that they can teach their people when they return and so that they can guard themselves against heaven. <coughs> it is not right that all the it is not right that all the believers should go out in time of war altogether. Why then does not a party from every group come to the Prophet in order to acquire a deeper knowledge of religion and to warn their people so that they can guard themselves against evil? Oh, yeah. And it is not right for the believers to go forth all together. But if only a party goes forth out of every group of them in order to seek discernment in the religion, and so that they may warn their people when they return back to them, so that perhaps they will be on their guard. So I think that is actually an expansion on the warners. I don't know what is the title. <coughs> So this is a very important um, thing that communities, faith communities should bear in mind that they must have those people among them who are the witnesses, who have the in-depth knowledge of the word of God. They know exactly what God means by his word. Their knowledge has no inkling of doubt in it. It's true knowledge. So those are the witnesses, and those are the ones who are charged with the task of warning, meaning awakening the others. Because the one, if you want somebody, you are, you are waking him up, okay, him wake up. There is, there is a. Uh, a pit ahead of you, wake up, you're gonna fall down. So there's some danger ahead of you. That's what a warner does. Because he sees the danger, the others don't see it. They have it.
ولمن آمن وأسلم وسائر المسلمين أجمعين